I am a fellow curvy girl like you. I've got larger hips and thick thighs. And listen, if you've got large hips, you know the struggle. The struggle is real. And I've made my share of cringy mistakes when it comes to my style. But guess what? You don't have to make the same mistakes. So in this video, I'm going to share with you all the mistakes you need to avoid if you want to highlight your beautiful pear shape and show your curves in the right proportion and in the right places to look amazing. So I've had larger hips for a long time. I think from the age of 15 to 16, my hips started getting bigger and bigger. So I used to be an hourglass shape. I'm now a pear shape and I've got my large hips, thick thighs, large calves, and a smaller waist. Now listen, I love my curves and there's sometimes that I want to show off my hips, but it gets challenging sometimes when you don't want all the attention focused on your hips and you're looking for a way to kind of like balance out the proportions so you're looking nicer and finer. So let me share with you seven mistakes I've made and actually two of them I didn't quite notice until very recently. So you started your day you pick out a nice blazer that you want to wear with your outfit. Now, I love blazers because blazers have a way of adding some proportion and definition to your figure. And they just know how to make an outfit look nice. Like, you know, they know how to elevate an outfit. So I always like to reach out for blazers. But here's what I found out when it comes to blazers. You need to avoid any oversized blazers and blazers that do not accentuate your curves in any way. So straight cut blazers do not work unless you're going to find a way to add some definition to your waist. Take for example, this cream blazer. When I got this blazer from Zara, I was so excited about it. It was quite expensive at the time. I think it was about 90 pounds. And I thought this would look nice. I knew it was oversized, but somehow I thought it would look good on my frame. Listen, it never looked nice. I never liked the way I looked. I always felt from P, I always felt like it didn't quite come together and maybe I need to wear a belt on it but I find that I rarely reach for this blazer as beautiful as it is it just doesn't work with my figure because I've got large hips so it's kind of making the top part of my body look big and the bottom part looking big as well so it doesn't quite go so what I would suggest is to look for fitted blazers just like this and I got this blazer as well from Zara I love it can you see how it gives some definition to my waist look at the way it sits on my body and even though I've got these larger hips look at the way they curve to my body that's exactly what we're looking for and here's another mistake wearing tops or shirts that stop right at the widest part of your hip let's not forget that because we've got larger hips and thicker thighs We've got a waist that we need to define. We need to show off our smaller waist. So here's what I would suggest. If you decide you want to wear a shirt that is going to go below your hip, it'd be nice to wear something slimmer at the bottom part. So maybe leggings or skinny jeans that will kind of like balance it out without making you look rough or confused. Or what I would suggest is wearing something that is above the waist or something that sits right on your waist. If you think of a top or a blazer, actually, I'm wearing something like that now. Something that just stays on your waist and sits there beautifully without making you look boxy. Another option is you could wear asymmetric tops. If you don't have an asymmetric top, here's another option. I like to tuck in, but when I tuck in, I don't do the traditional tucking in all around my clothes. What I try to do is I tuck in a portion of my top or my shirt. So I would tuck into the side just so it looks nice or I tuck in the front part and leave the back hanging. It gives you that illusion of asymmetry. It gives you that look that shows, hey, I've got a slim waist, but I've got nice hips and it just adds 
to the proportions and makes your figure stand out even better. So avoid those tops that stop right at your hip, those long tops that stop right at your hip. Now here's another thing. I love color. Color is my thing. I love colors. I love patterns. But they don't always work well if you've got large hips and if you do not pair your clothes properly. When it comes to stretching bottoms, trousers, leggings, as long as it has a lot of spandex or stretch, anything from the range of like 5%, 10%, 20% and above, I would suggest not wearing anything light colored at the bottom parts. What I've noticed is that when I wear light colors at the bottom part of my body, it just brings a spotlight to all the imperfections that I'm trying to hide. If there's sunlight, it will zoom on it. Your knees will look larger in them. Like it doesn't look quite right when they are stretchy and fitted and tight at the bottom half. What I do now, if I want to wear a light colored bottom, is that I make sure it is wide leg or freer such that it still looks beautiful at the bottom half of my body without making it look bigger than it is, bigger or out of proportion and doesn't make it look vulgar to the eyes. Also, you can go for darker colors at the bottom, dark wash jeans or wear a top that covers your jeans. Remember how I talked about that asymmetric tuck that you can do with your top? Maybe wear that so that it reduces how it looks at the bottom. Also, I noticed that when wearing light colors at the bottom, it's always better to pair it up with a lighter color at the top. Normally, it's nice to pair light and dark, but I noticed that because we don't want too much attention down there, something lighter at the top, something lazy and colorful at the top also brings attention to the top without making the bottom look too big. For patterns, I'd say do not wear any patterns that is just going to draw to your hips, whether it's embroidery or anything that's just going to make that place look too large, unless that's the look you're going for. What I would suggest is that you go for darker patterns because they would look nice on your body and yet you can still enjoy the patterns the way you want. So sometimes you want to feel footloose and free. You don't want anything tight. Listen, anytime I'm going for a barbecue, I'm going for a party, I don't want to wear anything that is going to stop me from eating and enjoying the food. However, they don't always look nice on us. If we're being honest, let's be honest. Every time I've tried to wear something that is just free, I think I feel like I look frumpy. It doesn't quite sit well. It is nice, the colors look good, but there's something about it that doesn't always look really great. It doesn't bring out our figure. We need things that accentuate our waist. So wearing something that is just free doesn't always look the best. Here is what I do instead. I try to wear a belt to cinch in my waist, just so that it adds a bit of definition to the loose outfit or you could wear heels to kind of lift you up from the ground and make your legs look a bit longer and just so it looks nicer and a bit more balanced to the look. So avoid any bulky or shapeless dresses that hide the curves. And also remember, if you're wearing something baggy on the top, do not wear something baggy on the bottom. I see so many slim people wearing it. And I'm like, oh, this looks chic. This looks nice. But anytime I try it, it is a disaster. So if you're going to wear free on top, wear something fitted at the bottom. If you're going to wear free on the bottom, wear something tapered and fitted at the top. It would look much better that way. So now here are my suggestions. I always like to go for mid rise or high rise trousers, whether they're jeans, whether they are trousers, whether they are leggings. If there is the option of high rise, I go for that. I don't even waste my time with low rise or mid rise. In fact, avoid low rise in every way. Low rise is just going to put you lower and lower on the ground as the name implies. Avoid low rise, go for high rise or mid rise because it will elongate your midsection, elongate your legs a bit more and take less attention from the hip 
and kind of make your proportions look more symmetrical. And just as I said before, heels do a world of good when it comes to ladies with large hips. Listen, I don't like wearing heels like I used to previously. I would wear five inches, I would love it, and I'd be happy. But I notice anytime I wear heels, I always have a pair of flats somewhere else because I can't wear them throughout the day. So what I try to do now is I always go for heels that are almost um, two inches high or three inches. I try not to go beyond those. Um, and just something with a kitten heel, just something to take me a little bit above the ground. So think about heels. They have a good way of helping you elongate the lower part of your body. You know how I always talk about not wearing horizontal stripes because it just makes your hips go wider and wider and wider. I noticed that some jeans, jeans especially, you know those jeans that have whiskering on the sides? The ones like in this picture here, they've got those lines on the sides, you know, those distressed looking jeans or some of those ones that kind of have a light color right in the middle of the thighs. I have seen those designs. I have lusted after them. I have bought them and realized that they do not look good if you've got really large hips. Because if you have large hips and thick thighs, they'll make your thighs look bigger. They'll also make your hips look wider. And that's not the look we're going for. And I've noticed that if it is stretched in any way, oh, the look isn't pretty. You just look like you've been like a sausage that was stuffed into the skin and it, I just try to avoid that look it doesn't look great so I try to avoid light colored jeans that have those whiskers or even darker jeans that have whiskers or have a lighter color right in the middle you will notice them when you go shopping I go for darker jeans I avoid anything with horizontal stripes I always make sure it is vertical stripes darker in color so that it just looks nice and makes my body look good and last but not least here's the thing with tight and stretchy clothes you, we already have the hips we already have the figure it's beautiful it's nice wearing tight top and bottom doesn't always look i don't want to use the word elegant but i noticed that it kind of detracts from the look a bit and so what i try to do is i try to pair if i'm wearing something tighter or fitted on the top as i said earlier i'll loosen it up at the bottom just so it doesn't look too you know like all together here's what i do as an alternative i love wearing a-line skirts any skirt that has a bit of give so that it's not just fitted especially when they are short a-line skirts just give a nice look if you wear a fitted top and a-line skirts it looks beautiful on the body and then you're not looking so like tight from top to bottom and if i'm wearing something short and i'm wearing something fitted heels again would be a great option to add here so it lifts you up the ground and just balances out the proportions even more but if you can avoid just tight clothes from top to bottom try and break it up a bit or if you want to wear maybe like a tight stretchy dress maybe you can wear like a freer top on top or a cropped jacket or blazer so that it just adds a bit of symmetry and proportion and doesn't make your outfit look too look at me look at me kind of look I hope that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> and always remember that confidence is your best accessory so it's best to wear something that makes you feel comfortable because if you're not it kind of detracts from the look a bit and you want to feel comfortable in your own skin so are there any style mistakes that i haven't included in this video that you've experienced let me know in the comments down below listen curvy big hips girls there is hope for us and we can still enjoy color and patterns and everything we want to wear but we just have to look for the right way to balance it out so it looks great on us and if you're looking for the right jeans that would help tuck in your waist and hide a big belly or tummy then go watch this video next